Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Today, the 580 is getting a little bit of love. Nothing new or fancy, just a big maintenance day. I feel like Jiffy Lube. There you are, sir. Got you all wet there, that full line. I'm gonna go ahead and change the air filter for you today. It's only 95.95. But today we're gonna change the oil on the filter, hydraulic filter, fuel filter, water separator, grease it, check the transaxle, power shuttle, air filter so lots to do i'm gonna move some dirt later from that pile out front with uh the barge wagon and the tractor so got to get this thing in working order first thing we're gonna do is warm it up and put it in the shade it's supposed to be like 90 degrees today all those chirping birds are nice but i like this sound a little better Gotta wipe off my seat. We're gonna start with oil first since it's warm. Uh, oil filter is on the side with the battery, the right side. Oil check and fill though are on the opposite side, so. Oil check right here, oil fill right here. And we're using 15W40, two and a half gallons, got it written on there from previous times. And then don't get confused if you're doing this. Uh, this here is the power shuttle uh, drain plug. Don't drain that one. This pan here is the uh, oil, which has been dented, not by me. And the plugs on the other side over there. I believe a five gallon bucket fits under here just fine. Uh, the hydraulic filter is actually behind this panel here where the air filter sits, so we'll have to pull it off and get to that. All right, drain plug is right there. You guys won't get the best angle of this, but uh, you guys think I can bat a thousand and put the drain plug in the bucket again like I did when I did my tractor video? Morning to you, too. Bear with me as I guess the size here. Let's see. Not even close. You guys can see exactly just how clear that is down there. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's real fine, clean oil. But hey, it's in there. Nobody can fault me for saying my machine was empty at least. All right, let's let that drain, then we'll snap that oil filter off there. Does anyone else just absolutely love the smell of a diesel motor? Set a second bucket down there because the drain plug and where the filter is a little bit offset. So just, uh, good idea to keep oil from spilling everywhere these wrenches are gold by the way I'll link them below Will you guys stop I don't all right yeah also opening up the filter uh, un airlocks the system so you get more oil come back out of the drain plug too so good to have that second bucket this is gonna spin off here. I'm gonna drop it. That's how my morning's gonna go. How many threads are on here? I'll be using Shell Rotella T4 15W40 heavy duty diesel oil. Uh, I'll try to link a lot of the stuff below so you guys have it. If you're doing the same thing and you need part numbers, don't forget to lubricate your O-ring. I had a jug of this oil that was like three quarters of the way or half full. I opted to open the new one because, well, it's two and a half gallons exactly. And I can get my finger to the top of it and reach the oil without having to tip it sideways just to lubricate the O-ring, so. Everybody wins. And what you do is you get it up under here, you oil lubricate your O-ring, and you, you cross-thread it. And you crank it down as hard as you can. It's pretty snug. We'll, uh, we'll give it a little, maybe eighth turn with the wrench here. I think the instruction manual says go until you start to dent the oil can. All right, before you fill it with oil it's always important that you put the drain plug back in all right in goes two and a half gallons if i can even get the oil jug in here whose genius idea was it to leave the loader in the lower position may have to actually attack it from above i think that's what i'm gonna do uh, aerate the oil a little bit before i put it in there <laughs> this is so stupid
but it's actually working pretty well. That actually worked really well. I stopped pouring with maybe three quarters of a gallon left or so, just to give it a check, but uh, I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. As expected, we're low, that's good. Maybe now I can pour it from this angle. Yeah, I can get it here. I like Jiffy Lube. There you are, sir. Got you all wet there, that full line. I'm gonna go ahead and change the air filter for you today. It's only 95.95. All right, let's give her a start. Fill the oil filter. May need to top it off. All right, good and full. Clean. Uh, next, the fuel filter, or the hydraulic filter is down in there. Like I said, I gotta take the air filter off. Uh, I won't video it. Comes off with one, two, I think this made those two bolts. Uh, this entire panel right here though, removes. You'll see that in just a moment. I got that off and I can see the hydraulic filter a lot easier. Um, there actually were so supposed to be four bolts. I showed you the two, one, two. There's spots for three and four over here. I don't have them for some reason, so I'll have to maybe add those back, but uh, that's got some weight to it, so be careful. I think I'm gonna snap off the fuel or the fuel filter and the water separator here first to allow me access to the hydraulic filter a little easier. So I really need to stop talking and just get to work. I'm bad about that. I blame my mom for being a chatty Kathy. There's these two filters. There's also an inline filter, which I don't think I've ever changed. I have one down underneath the machine. I need to get to that. All right, you get the picture. I'm gonna pop the hydraulic filter off and then pop these three back on, lubricating the O-rings on each. So my breather cap was like rust welded onto the end here. I think I need to get into one of those. Uh, Mr. Frog here, you guys can see him. He's hanging out. Surprise is probably not. There's probably mice in here too. Hey, I need you to get out of there. Here, let's take the round end of this. Too big. Dang it. Here. Come on. Hi. Not on the tools. Toad, rather. All right. I'm going to pop this off, take it up to the house. Maybe order a new cap. I don't actually have a new filter, air filter right now, so I need to order one of those, too. Um, I got the hydraulic filter on there and snug. Be prepared for it to make an absolute mess and be difficult, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to hold off on the fuel filters until I have fuel. Power shuttle fluid is right here, so... I uh, just checked a moment ago, I'll show you, it's low. And then the transaxle is back there. Uh, I just rebuilt the brakes a couple years ago. And the transaxle service period is a really, really long time. So uh, we'll just make sure it's full. Power shuttle time. I'll pull that and show you in just a second. Uh, the pan for the power shuttle fluid is right. What are you? Right there. So that there's the pan. A couple years ago I pulled it. You can see my... Heavy use of a gasket maker there. If you ever have a situation where your backhoe won't move, check to make sure that this fluid's not really low or there's actually a screen, a suction screen up in here. If you take that out and clean it, uh, it could be the cause. Um, the fun part is you actually have to fill this from right here. It says to use the case TCH fluid. Uh, that stuff's really expensive. I've actually been using uh, the Harbor Freight, not Harbor Freight, Tractor Supply, Traveler fluid been using it in the power shuttle the brakes because you can't use dot fluid in the brakes it'll mess the seals up and for my overall hydraulic fluid and per the they recommend it here there we go they say it's the same spec case why can i not find it oh my fingers over it yeah case tch fluid right there so uh, i put some of it in a, in a smaller container to pour it in here um it's a you gotta twist it off the dipstick is uh, a week and a half long uh yeah i'm definitely low surprised this thing's moving all right let's fill it up all right we'll let that settle for a moment uh coolant is also a touch low i doubt you can see that it's kind of a bad lighting so I'll top that off while I wait for that to fill up, and then we'll do the transaxle. It's the, uh, it's not that hole where the bar is, but the one for the back. Got that power shuttle topped up and ready to go. 
Uh, like I said off camera, I filled the coolant. Uh, here is the transaxle dipstick. And unfortunately, guys, this is actually where you also fill the transaxle. And let's see here. Yeah, it looks like we have to add a little bit there. What's nice about the power shuttles, it tells you that from low to full, it's a, a pint. This one does not. Um, like I said, this is, you got to fill it from up here. So I won't video that. Uh, I do, though, have some of the actual case transaxle fluid. The service interval on that transaxle, I think it's a thousand hours. It had sat for years, so I wanted to rebuild it when I did the brakes and do it right. So have some of this that they recommend. Um, so we'll pour some of that in there, and then from there, just to grease it, and I gotta get, like I said, get diesel and get those filters back on before I can fire it up. And I may do that inline filter. I'll at least show you where the inline fuel filter is if I don't ultimately do it. So here's the inline fuel filter I was talking about, and it lives just inside the tank. So there's the uh, drain plug for the fuel tank. Mine's been dripping for quite a while, but I haven't uh, wanted to open it up because I typically keep the tank full. So 25 gallons of diesel, but you can see it right there. Uh, I will probably change this. It looks like it's just a couple hose clamps, but I think I'm gonna wait and not video that right now because I'm gonna do it whenever I can move the backhoe and uh, not lay in oil. Let's grease. Two things. In typical fashion, after about five zerks, my grease gun ran out of grease. Gotta fill that. And you also notice, I don't know where all the grease zerks are on this because, well, I don't have to grease it that often because I don't use it that often. Uh, probably something I should change, right? So I'll, I'll fill this cartridge, finish greasing it up, go get my diesel, come back, get the filters on. Next time you see me, we'll be turning this thing on and uh, giving a little test. Man, I need to change the bucket over anyway, so we will do that. All right, took a minute, but for the most part, she is done. Got a few things to clean up, a few busted zerks here and there. Uh, but the heavy lifting or the important things are done. So I'm gonna fire this thing up and go over there and swap buckets, get rid of this trenching bucket. But if you guys wanna see this thing in action, hit that subscribe button. Later this week, I'm gonna be getting this thing out along with uh, 4052R John Deere in there and that barge wagon, which you'll see in this next shot out there. Moving a lot of dirt around the property and uh, so more grass because, you know, I never feel like I have enough grass to mow. There's said wagon. I love that thing. <laughs>